Hey, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. I uh, hope you're doing well today. And I'm back with uh, part two, the second half. I'm sure we'll get to the end of it. Of this lovely uh, vase, which was etched with a design for the 25th anniversary of uh, a flora, Rosa Flora Limited. Uh, and it's got a beautiful ro uh, bouquet of roses. Um, etched in the side here established 1978 so 25 would have been 98 2003 so this is a, a vent almost a vintage jar in itself it's a little more older than uh, um, than most things <laughs> it's almost old enough to be a vintage on Etsy jar so I'm gonna uh, pull some stuff out and we'll get looking at uh, the second half of the jar. So when I first uh, opened the jar, or when, yeah, when I first got the jar, I weighed it, and it weighed uh, four pounds, eight and a half ounces, and so minus one pound nine and an eight. So. Uh, one pound nine ounces, four pounds eight, so three pounds nine ounces. Of, no, no, two pounds nine ounces of jewelry. That's pretty good. And it's a beautiful jar. Once now that it's empty, it's very, very nice design, very nice shape. It's hard to put it, see it all in the camera. So we got like a ball bearing. Oh no, it's one of those cool earring backs. Alrighty, we'll put that to the side. There's, that's not a marble, it's a highlight bead. Um, here's something in a little, in two plastic bags. I can't really tell what it is on its own. So let's find a way into this set of plastic bags. So it's a, a pin of some sort, obviously, but I don't know what it represents. Is Let me take the back off, because maybe it'll make more sense than when the back is. <laughs> okay, the back doesn't want to come off. There we go. Okay. What is it? I mean... Looks like there's a red tie around the center with the ribbon hanging down. So it can't go this way because ribbons don't hang up. Is it abs an abstract vase of some sort? If you have any idea what this is, please let me know. I mean, I, I'll be able to sleep at night not knowing, but interesting oh this is pretty let me just yeah that's cold that's glass nice pretty baby blue a little darker on the sides and uh, a few little chips here and there lightweight chain nice bail take it up here to the and if we got something whoops it's a tiny, lightweight um, it's uh, a, an oval, but it's rounded, like bent in terms of rounded or rounded around a, a cylinder or something. L B V Y R. If you know what those initials stand for, L-B-V-Y-R, let me know. If, um, if I don't put anything in the comments, it means I haven't been able to track them down. Hope things aren't too tangled in here. This one I'm going to um, undo. I'm always curious why they put the stuff in jewelry stars that they put in. Because this is a very modern necklace. It looks 
like it's got good color. So, whoops. Okay, I, all right, I caused that twisty doohickey here. So let me, let me fix that. And we have a black metal match and a kind of a bronzy colored um, circle, oh, hollow circles. Isn't that cool? The way they hang together with the ba with the veil. I love it. And then that a bronzy chain that's very long. And uh, it's like just a snake chain, but it's not the kind that's um, going to stick in your hair. It's very, very smooth. It's very long, though. Let's see. If I double it, so I would, it's going to be, I would say it's 36 inches, but that's what it looks like. There's a hole in my mat. Excuse that. Um, that's beautiful. Very, very wearable. Very nice modern piece. This I have to pull out because it's huge. And I thought maybe it wasn't a necklace. I thought maybe it was like a little pillow. You know, a pin cushion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought maybe it was a pin cushion because it's squishy. And there's almost feels like beads inside there but these are glass beads and aren't they pretty let's see if we can get them untangled look at how pretty those are and the you know the 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 pattern and the fact that they go from the smaller to the large that's very nice very cold this beautiful um probably machine embroidered but on both sides and nicely put together and then and and then more glass beads above it that is really sweet um i love the beads i might <laughs> i don't need a pin cushion um I would prefer to have something that's not soft cloth here, but another, like a glass focal in there with these hanging down would be so cool. That would be so neat. How long is this chain? Or not chain, this beaded part. So that's good and long. It's probably, that's uh, slightly less than 36 inches long and then all of this to hang down. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Look at that. Cool. Oh, this this jewelry jar was a good choice. I mean, I try to make good choices. I don't always get there, but... So this is different. This is what? I'm going to say that that's glass. One. Two. These are plastic these are wood one two three four that is nice a nice con configuration a little small lobster claw clasp but I think it's long enough you could put it over your head and you could ignore the clasp so let's see this pattern part is 18 inches so yeah because that's uh, an oddly small clasp for the size of chain involved here, but in excellent condition. Really nice modern piece with a bit of a, an Asian feel with these carved pieces. I'm sure they're glass, but they, they're made to look like, um, like jade. That is gorgeous. I wish there were more, more days in a lifetime to wear all this jewelry. Now, these little pins tend to uh, suffer, so I'm going to look at the back first and see what it says. Cold port, China, made in England. Now, let's see if it's badly chipped. Oh, yeah. This leaf is badly chipped, and this flower is chipped, and this leaf is chipped, and this even this little tiny daisy is chipped, and... Oh, that flower is chipped, so... Hmm. 
not much one can do with that. It's some things have to go in the garbage. Now, if you could, I know I had, I had one of these as a kid and I put it on top of a, it was, didn't have the pin on it. So it was nice and flat. So I glued it to the top of a container that's, that was part of my dresser set. And I still have it. I still have the lid with the, with a little plastic lid in the plastic container from, gosh, from the 70s. Um, with the little ceramic part glued on, but it wasn't broken like this. So I don't know what else you could do. I mean, you can't really take the pieces apart. This isn't too bad. I don't know. Have you ever seen anybody repurpose these? Maybe add stuff around to hide the flaws or anything? Don't know. That's too bad. Here. Are these pop beads? Yep. I was going to go, what is this? It's uh, too small for... Oh, now I've broken it. Too small for a bracelet. It's uh, big enough for maybe a napkin ring. And I don't see any more pop beads in there. I wonder if they put them in another jewelry jar. Interesting. Alrighty, well, okay. That goes in the I don't know what to do with it pile. What else have we got? Oh, this was the thing that I wondered if it was uh, coconut shell. Because it had that sort of looked like the color of coconut shell when they um, they carve it and sort of burnish it. But... I am pretty darn sure this is polymer clay. Yeah, it's got that slightly rubbery feel. That's nicely done, though. I mean, someone had to make the flowers uh, in the uh, in the cane and then shape it so that it came out looking interesting and it's just a rubber cord lobster claw clasp and I donate that away in the just the way it is it's not as nice as some of the other things that I found in here here's something else on a cord Ooh, look at that that's gorgeous oh I really like that Look at how the black is drawn through the glass with the beautiful gold or coppery color in the back. It's on a faux suede chain. This one I would definitely repurpose with some blitz ear beads. I like that one. We're getting uh, a little lower down in the pile here. Used jewelry has a certain smell to it. It's kind of a hmm, sort of off sweet smell. Just looking, trying to see if all the rhinestones are there. Well, this one looks looks good. No, uh, I guess it goes this way. No uh, maker's mark. Um. All the pieces are there. It's um, I guess the chain isn't worn as much as that's the color of the chain with the way they made it. Uh, I've taken things like this apart in the past and repurposed them when you know if one piece or two pieces were. Um, are missing rhinestones or or these especially these glass these black glass stones those are hard to replace um, not sure what I'm gonna do with this um, I have something that's missing some of these kind of rhinestones but it would be a shame perhaps to rob this or to rob Peter to pay Paul but because I have another way of fixing my other rhinestone thing. I At least I've thought of a way. Hmm. Well, that's something to consider. I was looking for those kind of rhinestones in other jewelry pieces because I've looked for them online and can't find them to buy them. 
Okay, this, this isn't jewelry. This is a piece of glass. This is a, a marble with a flaw in it. If I were using this to play marbles, it wouldn't roll very well. So here's another pin. You know what? Is this like a coffee maker and a teapot? I don't know. Well, that looks more like a top. I don't know. The, my husband had a like an espresso maker that kind of looked like that now that I think of it, but it certainly never had a red ribbon around it. So I don't know. Some interesting pins. This is very cold. Yeah, it's very, very cold. But it and it's carved in its unusual colors. If it's a piece of stone, I mean, it's very thin and lightweight, um, but it's gorgeous. Look at that. Who thinks of these things? Like, I suppose it could be pressed glass. Uh, I'm just thinking that the amount of work it would take to make it, to carve it. It certainly looks much more realistic as stone than that other big chunk of a, a key ring. I don't know. I have more mysteries here than I can deal with. Here is a big ceramic. No, no, this is a stone. This is stone. This is a got to be a piece of howlite. I wonder if uh, the colors don't quite go together. Here's another piece of howlite. So maybe these guys went together on a necklace. What else have we got here? Oh, plastic, stretchy, in good. It's kind of loose, but I mean, it doesn't it doesn't gape when I put it on. I don't know if I'll put that with the kids stuff or if I'll uh, do something else with it. Oh, this is pretty. How many times have I said that in this video? I'm not sure. Look at this piece of shell. There's that side, and then there's this side. Now, I'm not sure if they've, um, if this is the natural color or if they've dyed it. I don't know enough about, cause, about that, because you can see the color does come a bit toward the back here, but is that because, is that nat the, the shell naturally or, or not? But isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. And this this cord has been is kind of falling apart. It's cloth. So that could get a nice beaded chain with blacks and a bit of red and white. And oh, all kinds of things. That could be repurposed very nicely. It's almost like it's nice enough to go with something like these, just not with those pink and blue and green beads. Okay, unfortunately my brain doesn't stop thinking. And here's something I saw in the jar that I thought was going to be special. And I think it is. I have just have to figure out how there's, this is the clasp, right? We can tell that's the clasp in there. Is it magnetic, maybe? Something is supposed to move to make this open, which so normally it would be something right in there.
Hubby? I need your help. I can't figure out how to get this bracelet undone, and it's really sweet. Look at how pretty this is. Like all that enamel work, all the little rhinestones. Let's see if there's any little... Well, there, see, there's a little tiny... Is that a pearl missing, or did they put a rhinestone in there instead? So there's three pearls there. There's two pearls and a rhinestone here. So I'm calling in the master mechanic... Can you come over here and see if you can figure out how to get this open? I can tell that this is the clasp, see? Right here, there's the clasp. That I can't get it open. While he's doing that, I'm going to show you this thing that I... Oh, it's ancient! It's an amylite! Oh my god, I'm so happy! These are expensive to buy. And I've always wanted one. This is not the best, because it's got some little spots there that are open. But that's okay, that just means that... When it became a fossil, there were still those little sandy bits in there. That is gorgeous. Okay, um, I'm going to come back to this. Look at how old this is. Like This is rock. This is a shell turned into rock. Oh, I'm so happy. This, is, this was worth the price of the jewelry jar just to get that. Okay, so he's, he's figured out how to get this open. Oh, look at how tiny that is. That I couldn't see it to get it open. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that a cute... Oh, it's going in my collection. I'll tell you, look how nice it looks. Just enhances my wrist very nicely. And it's just got that little... I might not be able to ever do it up. If it's got such a tiny clasp. Okay, so the, the love of my life is going to put it on me. Better this than handcuffs, eh? As far as I'm concerned. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. So it just, um, now I might not be able to get it off. So it just pulls? Yeah. Oh, okay. There, once you figure it out. It just pushes down. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Thank you, dear. Oh, wow. I oh, got This is the man who tolerates my obsession with jewelry jars look at this can you i gotta figure out how many millions of years old this is it's gorgeous i'm gonna have to get under a microscope and see if there's any crystals in there um in those open spots and uh i'm gonna have to test the part around the outside um to see if that's silver because sometimes they do put those kind of silver things on it um if it's not silver i'm not too worried this is just this is valuable just in itself and look it's stone so you can see that some of that iridescence in the uh um the stone on the back here and the shape and the depth of it oh wow okay this is for me too oh i'm getting a nice collection of things what else did we find here Oh boy. Oh, this is pretty. And it's cold. I think it's glass. It's what's oh, a little bracelet. It is a it's a good it's a seven inch. But nice pretty orange bracelet. These two look nice together, but that's just that's beautiful just by itself. You wouldn't you wouldn't enhance it by putting them together. But very nice. Very, very nice. Nicely put together with the, uh, I like the uh, sort of matte rainbow finish that are on these uh, beads that go in between with the gold, uh, in be that go on either side of the orange glass beads. Very pretty. And nice little rose or flower beads in gold tone. Very nice, something that I can pass on. It will be very nicely appreciated. Oh, I always love these. I think of these as prom necklaces these days. Who, I don't know, maybe brides wear them. This one doesn't have a, a maker's mark, but a beautiful Y. Those lovely flowers. If I keep every one of these that I've ever found so that my granddaughter has a choice 
for her her prom I might have to buy a bigger house just to store them I'm just looking to see if there's possibly a maker's mark on the back there nope but this one's pretty look at how the um, these uh, stones are like little leaves that's very nice really great sparkle on that um, so that's very nice oh a good length too well my my mat is uh, cluttering up with lots of things there's a another necklace here this is uh, just a silver tone chain uh, a little sort of ball chain but it's faceted ball chain and then it's got a little hammer disc that says potential and a lotus flower so that looks like some, maybe somebody assembled that with some, a couple of nice symbols for someone. That's cute. Put that off to the side. Well, we're almost finished this jewelry jar. There are, uh, are just a few little things, including um, some single earrings. So uh, the next thing is this... Um, little bracelet and it's got little rhinestone dangles no no yeah little colored rhinestone dangles and it's quite lightweight even though it's got a spring class it's um from Claire's now I've seen what the prices are of this stuff they sell at Claire's um I found it unbelievable but I will save that little bracelet for our special granddaughter. Earlier I found this, um, I don't know, probably faux pearl. And this is the only earring that it could go with. But it already has a, a clutch on it. So I have no idea. Maybe some other jewelry jar is missing uh, uh, or has the other parts to go with this. Um, there was this little, I guess, a baby polar bear charm. It's quite cute. Um, I don't recognize that logo, but it looks like kind of like three people standing together, almost making a heart. That's a good a substantial weight, and it just clips on with a, with a lobster claw clasp. So he's kind of sweet. Um, uh, an earring without anything on it. So however it was meant to go, it's broken. I mentioned that this earring that I found matched something from another jar, an earlier jar. And here's the, uh, here, it, here is its match. And here's the necklace. That uh, multi-strand necklace. That they go with so there's a there's a nice bright summery set with which we now have the earrings there is uh, this set of uh, you know nice casual pierced earrings a pair this pin uh, made out of fused glass and this one's quite well done. I took a class in fused glass and uh, it's not as easy as it looks getting the, the glass to stick together uh, and then look nice in the fused pieces. So that's not bad. It's uh, some interesting colors in there. Uh, you know, pretty neutral, but uh, definitely has to go top down widest part down <coughs> excuse me then in the there was this bag which has a bangle this is I think this is plastic it's uh, 
you know, faux, whatever those are, little, um, oh, look at that one's at a line. Well, I wonder if that could be repaired. If that was nicely lined up, this would, wouldn't be so bad. It's just, it is, it's plastic, so it's very lightweight. I guess it would, yeah, it would be easy to wear. Not sure why it's in the bag. Maybe somebody didn't want it getting scratched up with all the other things in the door jar. And then there's one last thing. Now, you remember that maybe, well, maybe you won't. Maybe uh, in the first half of the jewelry jar, I saw this near the bottom and I thought, oh, it's an, it might be an ammonite. This center part looked a little strange. Like, usually an ammonite doesn't have like a little star and that kind of thing. Um, but I forgot all about it because I found a real ammonite. So once we compare these two, you'll see that this on the left here, it's got to be glass. I, I don't think it's a type of stone. The patterns in it um, make me think that it's glass. It has on this side, it actually is molded a little bit. So it looks like it has um, some lines in it, like an L amylite would ammonite would have but they they go up and out where on the ammonite they go down and out like you can see down and out there uh, so I I think it's just glass but it's quite pretty um, you already heard me talking about how much I I love this one so there have have two similar shaped things and a real and a glass one in the jar is quite uh quite unique I think so this jar has been uh very surprising in all the things that it has and I'd love to know you know what these came from uh but uh they must be in another jar somewhere and I was uh making the coffee for the day and looked at this and went, oh, wait a minute, there's a coffee pot and there's the Melita or the cone, fil cone holder and cone filter holder on top. That's how we make my coffee every day. And I didn't recognize this. I think because of the red, the red tie on it. So I don't, if you know of a, a coffee maker where you have to tie the parts together, let me know. But when you put these together, the pot and the, the coffee maker, I think you've got uh, your morning coffee made. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. Hope to see you again soon. If you like this video, tell your friends, uh, subscribe, and uh, comment. Thank you. Goodbye.